Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to this episode of G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, Homestead in the Desert. And we're looking at the new panels that I mentioned that I picked up, and uh, I got uh, reprimanded for not showing them when I mentioned them. So I'm putting them in as first thing on this video so that uh, I don't get yelled at again. <laughs> Just kidding, I know you weren't yelling at me. Anyway, there's four here, but only two are for me. The other two are for my friend Andy's motorhome. He's going to be coming up later this month, and uh, we're going to swap out the 100-watt panels he's got on there, the four of them. That's for 400 watts. We're going to put on two of these 305-watt uh, panels for 610 watts. It'll give him a little bit more power. Uh, on those hot summer days, he has more electricity. So anyway, I think I've done this before, but just in case, here's the uh, tags on these things. And you can see that the VMP on these are 32.9 volts. So, if you hook two of these in series, you're going to get about 65 volts or 66 volts, somewhere in that area. And uh, the controller we're going to head down to the uh, battery room right now because i want to make a a good point of something while i'm heading down that way i still have some metal up here left from uh, when i built the rack so i'm going to try to figure out if i need any more of it i might have to get one more of the struts but uh and maybe one of the hats but um i want to just uh I'll, I'll show you down at the um the rack I'm going to add one panel on the top of the rack and one panel on the bottom of the rack so that the big rack that I built is holding six panels instead of four. And right now I've got those uh, panels on there set so they're in series for two panels each. And then the two those come in to um, Y connectors which makes them parallel and then brings them into my battery room to my controller. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, so this is the positive negative from these two top panels right, right here, these first two. And then that one that's dangling over there is the one for the bottom two. And then that gives me a negative that's coming into the Y and a negative coming into the Y and positive positive and then two wires run across and up and into my battery room okay so um with that being said i i can change this because i'm using these are going through my um midnight classic 150 controller and if i haven't said it before i'm going to say it now and for those of you who are thinking about putting together a good solar system for your off-grid uh, upcoming lives or whatever, do yourself an absolute favor and buy a Midnight Classic controller. I mean, trust me, you will never ever be sorry that you own a Midnight Classic controller. They are expensive. But I'm going to tell you right now, from the bottom of my heart, they are the best controllers out there. And that's this one right here, this big guy. Now, second best to that is the Rover. This is a Renogy Rover. Okay, so this, this is not a bad unit. My uh, friend Andy gave me this because, well, actually sold it to me, because um, it's rated in... Everything is rated on in, in Celsius, and you can't switch it over to Fahrenheit or anything like that. So he didn't like that, so, and there was also he wanted to ha have a um, access remotely to his uh, cell phone so he could check his, without having to go out to the, his motorhome all the time, just check it uh, from the cell phone to make, see what it's charging and all of that. And this one didn't have the ability to do that, so he had to get the newer model. So I got ended up with this one, and it works pretty good. I mean, pretty darn good. 
you see it says 13 volt 0.7 volts and here it's 13.7 volts and uh, here's what I was talking about 66 volts coming in from the panels okay so I got 121 watts at this point coming in but I'm on float so there's about 9 amps coming in and I've got 2 kilowatt hours already stored um, for the day so I got plenty of power there now this one I like that because it shows it all in one place then here on this one you have to press this button and go through it now this one's taking in 60.4 volts but what's feeding this one are all my 100 watt panels and I've got those tied together in series also but I think I'm doing four and four on those okay so you have to keep pushing the button to go through each thing. Now this is putting, uh, taking in six amps. Okay, 100% uh, on the batteries. They're fully charged. 13.7 uh, volts. Uh, okay, so there's nothing going out on the auxiliary, and I've got uh, 135 amp hours stored through this one for today. So. That, see, that's some of the things that the 15, it means that it's, uh, it's set so that I can press this button for the auxiliary because I have an extra fan tied to that or two fans tied to that, one up here and one down here. So if it gets really hot, these things pull off a lot of heat, I can blow air right through this thing. It's got a heat sink on the back. I blow air through to cool it down. And then uh, errors are zero. There's no errors. And then back to the, it's on float, uh, and I'm running my 12 volt system. And you can see it's still panels are still um, sending power in, but it's not going actually to the batteries because they're already fully charged. Same thing with this one. It says float, but this one, trust me, you would be the best you could do is save your money and buy one of these before you go buy junk like that from China because those things do not do you much favors all right I mean that Windy Nation little um, PWM worked better than both of those hybrids up there uh, if you're gonna run a, um, a turbine and solar don't get a hybrid controller do not forget it I haven't had one of those things work right yet so stay away from them your best bet is to get yourself a rectifier like this and a, one of these little um, uh, multi-gauge meters and, and it'll give you everything that you need to know on there. It keeps flashing it on here. And uh, this will work better than any one of those things up there. But uh, you'll also want to, instead of using one of these, because this one is, is burnt out now, it doesn't work anymore. And uh, I'll be getting the new digital diverter. Um, be ordering that pretty soon and we'll be switching this out to a digital diverter they're more efficient all right so that being said the midnight classic this is the classic 150 now they have the 150 the 200 and the 250 and if you want to know what the difference between those are among those because there's three of them you want to know what the differences are okay the 150 will handle up to 150 volts of input, plus your battery voltage. So it, my battery voltage is 12 volts, so that's 150 plus 12 is 162 volts. So I can tie panels in series up to 162 volts input, and this will handle it. With the 200, you can go up to 200 volts plus whatever your battery voltage is. So if your battery voltage is 24, it'll be 224 volts input is what you could put into this, the, the unit. Okay, and on the two, 250, it's 250 plus your battery voltage. So if you're running a 48 volt battery system, you got the um, 250 plus 48 or 298 volts allowed to come into it. All right, so I hope that explains it, but I, this one here, I'm only bringing in 66 volts, roughly. Um, sometimes on really good days, I'll have 68 volts coming in. 
but 66 is the average. And that's about right for adding two panels together. So I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna add three panels together. And that should bring it up to like 99 volts coming in. So I'll have two strings of 99 volts each coming in, but it'll read as 99 volts up here. And I'll show you that when I do, do, do the connection. But the higher the voltage, the lower the amp requirement, and the smaller the wire requirement. Because you, the wire needs to be larger for higher amps, not for higher volts, okay? So it, it just makes sense to go with the higher voltage input. Now that's gonna make everything more efficient here. So when this hot summer starts really kicking in, I'm gonna be able to run my air conditioner inside. And I'm thinking about adding a second air conditioner in one of the other windows in the front room so that if I'm watching TV and it's really hot, I can turn on the air conditioning and relax and cool off. So, see, so yeah, that's what retirement's all about, right? And everybody thought retirement meant putting new tires on your vehicle. Well, that's what I thought it was until I actually retired. And then I found out that retirement means work twice as hard as you did. <laughs> all right, everybody. Just wanted to clear up some of that for you. And I got to come up with a design that I'm going to use to add the panels on. Because I'm thinking about putting uh, one of the panels right here, half and half across these two. And the same thing down at the bottom. So I got six panels on this rack because this is a very sturdy rack and it'll hold the six panels no problem. And then I'll tie this one and the, these two, the new one and the, these two together. So I have three of them tied together. Uh, three times uh, 33 volts would be 99 volts. And I'll do the same thing down there. So I'm bringing in uh, close to 100 volts and I'm using uh, a 120 volts AC on my system. Hey, hey, guess what? I'm pretty close to the same voltage. So it get, makes it easier on your um, transformer or your, your inverter. And uh, it's just better all the way around. Smaller wire, lower amps, higher volts. Get the same um, product out of it. If you take a, a 12 volt system and a 12 volt bulb, and you, you're say your 12 volt uses 12 uh, watts of of energy, so you're going to divide the 12 volts into the 12 watts. And that means it's going to use one amp. But if you take 120 volts and you take an, a same 12 watt bulb and you want to run that, it's only going to use one tenth of an amp. So it's 10 times more efficient. Isn't that cool? All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget thumbs up down there. Comments all the way down below. And... Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for being there. This is G-Bear signing off.